Hello. <sighs> Welcome to jasonnewland.com. I'm going to do this without my glasses. <sighs> this is a let me bore you to sleep session. In fact, I'm going to wear my glasses because I can't. I can't see the screen. <laughs> oh. So let me bore you to sleep. Just figured a way how I can broadcast this actually live from my website. I think. Which is pretty cool. So you can actually, instead of being on YouTube, you can go to jasonnewland.com the first page just click live it's got a live broadcast or live now just click on it and you can watch it on my website which is quite groovy I do believe especially if you're coming from Facebook or Twitter and you don't want to go on to YouTube or you know whatever sometimes it's it's a good place to have everything it's where all my stuff is so it makes sense to have it in one place so I'm testing out a new microphone if you can see it there it's a special one with an adapter that goes into the iPhone with a clip on to the lapel I tested it earlier and it sounded good but in the event that it doesn't I've got a backup because I'm what was a weird noise just heard a little clink I've got a, a backup because I'm recording this on my recording studio but I don't know if this is going to affect the thing but look at this this is how much wire comes with this microphone I could be in the garden. I could have the camera in the garden. Why would you need to be this far away? <laughs> I mean, it's about a hundred yards worth of thingy, and there's a battery there. There's a power pack. It's all tangled. It came tangled. But uh, for me, it's just about the quality of the sound if I can do this without having to um, record the sound separate and add it to video edit it and all that stuff if I can do it without having to do that do it without having to do that then that would be preferential to me so hopefully you can hear me okay and next time I make a video using this microphone, I'm going to hopefully have it untangled, but that's probably gonna take me about an hour to do that. I don't, why is the lead so long? Because even if the camera was the other side of the room, I still wouldn't need a lead more than sort of seven foot. And this is a good, like probably 20, 20 foot anyway so I'm live I'm doing this as a live broadcast and this microphone is supposed to be good for live broadcasts because then it stops because uh, sometimes other microphones that you buy uh, cause problems like sound problems if you use them when you're going live they're fine for just normal filming um, but this can also be used with a video camera as well although I do have microphones a couple of really good microphones I used to have a blue yeti but I don't like them because they're USB uh, you have to have it, you know, you, they click into the, the laptop and 
anything really I find anything that is connected to a laptop to record it doesn't work so well just in my in my experience You need to have a, a separate thing. I mean, to be fair, I did. I do also have a like a recording thing where I can put the mic that plugs into the laptop, but then the microphones plug into that. And I don't use that now. Now that I've got the recording studio, but that was good. That worked quite well. Oh, and another thing. Oh, this is exciting. Um, I'm going to be making some recordings that, are got, that won't be on camera. And they're going to be using the... Yeah, metronome. You know the... That thing. I think you use um, piano players use it I think so I'm going to be doing we start doing a few sessions with that the reason for it is because I think that is kind of a bit hypnotic in itself and sometimes you can end up focusing on that while the suggestions can be going, slipping in. I was going to say slipping in the back door, but that sounds probably wrong, I don't know. But Also, I had a little practice earlier. And I've got it onto a specific speed that fits my voice. The, the speed of my voice when I talk, when I make a session. And it really works because there's a gap. And then I do it to the rhythm of the metronome. So I'm kind of looking forward to playing around with that. I am. I don't have to have it in the actual session. I could just have it playing through headphones and then I'm just talking, you know. Uh, that's got me thinking. Ah, because I, I was looking to do record some songs. I wonder if I can add. Yeah, I can get a song, download the music, add it to the studio, play the music through the headphones and then sing and record my voice and then at the end of it I've got a, a song, a complete song. Ah. So, Beanie Town, Andre, sorry about that, Andre's always letting one off. Um, so only listen to this or watch this when you can safely close your eyes because this is a let me boys to sleep so it's not a, a vlog or anything but I will say that oh, oh I'm glad I got the window open I will say that I um, I've now got a Jason Chats vlog YouTube channel, another one, and there's probably, I don't know, 20, maybe 30 videos on there, like old videos that I put on. So I'm looking to maybe start making some more regular Jason Chats, but I want to keep them separate from the Hypnosis channel. I, just, I, need, I need to do that, there's a few reasons. One of the reasons is sometimes 
I'll make more Jason Chats videos than I do hypnosis stuff and then it starts to look like that's all I'm doing because the hypno Jason Chats can like last a couple of minutes upload it and it's done and I might do another one later in the day and you know um, for me I kind of class the Jason Chats as like throwaway videos just it's there and it's not, not really anything particularly important and it's gone uh, but I like to keep the anything that's on the hypnosis channel I like to keep that there and even though uh, these let me boy to sleep aren't really hypnosis it's just me talking you know but it's a separate thing before I start well I kind of I've always yeah before I, before I get really boring can I just check if anyone is listening live I've got a few people watching just to check that the volume's okay because I'm using a new microphone if you can give like a little thumbs up if the volume's okay maybe click the like button I said that's one way to get people to click the like button yeah if the volume's clear because it's a new microphone and I'll have a little sip of drink whilst I await the results of that particular uh, survey or poll no response <laughs> it's fine I've um, just to remind those that are watching live you can watch this just check out can you check by going to my website jasonnewland.com to see if you can watch this streaming live on my website you might have to press the play button on the on the video that's at the top of the page so is that a like button I can't see I can see the like buttons but I can't see what's being said on the screen because of the it's a very tiny screen so if you click the like button please mm -hmm. oh yay um, so hello to those that are watching live hello to those that aren't watching live but are watching this after it's been broadcast and admittedly it's, it's quite early in the morning it's what's a half twelve or something in the morning on I don't know what day it is is it 3rd of uh, November 2018 so that's cool I had a very unusual day today I visited a friend in hospital so I, got, I kinda had to get up quite early because I was going with another friend and uh, so it's Saturday morning here now so yesterday was Friday I still class it still the same day because I've not gone to bed yet. Still class it as Friday until I go to bed. And my, uh, I went and visited a friend, and he's very poorly. And I went with another friend, so I looked after that friend's dog outside the hospital. And the dog he kept barking at the. Uh, ducks so there's I don't know how many ducks there were one two three I did try and count them but he was in the hospital because you can't take a dog into the hospital unless it's a blind dog so uh, we had to just you know go in separately so I'm looking after his dog and these ducks. It's like they were taunting him. Is that, is that the right word? Taunting? Haunt, not haunting. They weren't ghosts. Um, they definitely seem to be showing off. Like dancing around, waggling their tails in the air. Like, well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? 
you can't do nothing. Mm, 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 mm. So, and the dog I was looking after, he was like barking and getting all excited, but confused at the same time. Didn't really know what was going on. It was a bit, you know. And then another dog came by, and this, a woman came in. Well, not came in. She she walked into the the area of where the ducks were and she had a dog with her and the dog I had started barking at the dog which it doesn't normally do but I just really just you know didn't stop and my this lady she was feeding the ducks and I wanted her just to hurry up and leave because of the, the amount of noise that the, the dog I was looking after was making. I couldn't shut him up. I asked him, I said, can you please you know, keep it down a bit? And he, he said, no, I don't want to. I said, why, why, why don't you want to? He said, well, you know I'm not, I can't really talk, I'm a dog. I said, I know, but for the sake of this made up story, he said, it's not really made up. I mean, we did actually go to the hospital, didn't we? And I did bark at the, the other dog and the ducks. And I said, well, yeah, true. It's just the, I suppose the part of the story that I classed to, I was talking about being like made up was you talking to me, like me. So I actually had in a, uh, I was going to say a physical conversation, but I don't, don't know if there's any such thing as a physical conversation, but you know, and a, a verbal, verbal conversation where both parties were verbalizing in the same language and communicating in a way that each understood the other. And he said, that's, that's a very long sentence. I said, well, why do you, why do you, you're always picking, picking up on stuff like that. He said, well, I'm not, am I? I said, what do you mean? I said, well, as I said, I'm a dog. I can't, I can't talk. Therefore, how can I pick up on stuff that you've, that you've said previously? Because I've never talked, because I'm a dog. I said, yeah, I know, but for the sake of, for this to make sense, you have to be able to talk. And he said, yeah, I understand that. But it just seems a bit silly now. I mean, what's this got to do with sleep? And I said, I don't know what it's got to do with sleep. And he said, well, isn't this supposed to be a sleep session? You're talking and you to be boring, but you know, a talking dog's quite exciting, isn't it, really? I said, yeah. But I'm not sure if it's exciting. I, I wouldn't class it as, you know, it, it's exciting if you were hand gliding or if you'd, you know, f find, found a, you know, a gold mine underneath, you know, the duck pond or, so, you know, something amazing like that. And he said, well, why would that be amazing? If a hand gliding, fair enough. A dog hand gliding is quite, it's a stretch, isn't it, really? I said, but yeah, but so is a talking dog. He said, yeah, but a hand gliding dog is a little bit, a little bit silly. And you're kind of moving into some some weird surreal world with that. I said, yeah, I said the, the 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 gold mine underneath the duck pond. That was that was why it was it. He said, well, he, not really, if I'm honest. I mean, I do like to dig, but you know, only for bones. I can't chew on gold. You know, you break gold, there's nothing inside. Bones full of yummy, yummy stuff. I said, 
I've never, I've never heard you say the word yummy, ever. All the time that with any conversation I've had, the whole time I've known you, I know it's only been six months, but I've never ever heard you say yummy. And he said to me, you've never heard me say anything. I'm a dog, I don't talk. So why do you keep coming back to that? I just, it, it ruins the whole thing if you keep coming back to facts. You say, yeah, but aren't facts important? I said, it depends. It depends on what? It depends on the situation. You know, if I was giving you a medical diagnosis or prognosis, yeah, facts would be interesting. It'd be useful and important. Uh, or if I was a, or something, you know, like measuring a carpet, probably not quite as important, but you know, just as an example, you, you want to get the correct measurements. You don't want to just do an average, well, it's probably about 12 foot, it's probably about six inches, you know, it's, it has to be correct. But in a situation like this, it's made up, it's just talking, just words made into sentences and none of it's really that relevant to anything because it's all supposed to just mingle into a, a pointless, I was going to say pus, but that's, that's not the nicest visual, a, not, a little, little soup of contented sleep, sleepiness and drowsiness without any any holding on to anything from the day and just letting go, you know, just letting go of the past and just allowing yourself to feel relaxed and calm. And getting back in touch with that sense of being able to just drift to sleep easily, naturally, without wanting to. In fact, it could be the opposite to wanting to sleep. It could be that point, you know, when you're maybe in the past you might have been excited about Christmas or a birthday or a holiday, and you want, you know, you really you just didn't want to go to sleep because you wanted to stay up to to see if that, you know, Santa Claus or Father Christmas was gonna climb down the chimney. And you, you, how's you going to get into the house? Because you don't have a chimney. You live in a bungalow. There's no chimney. He said to me, well, "Why are you? Why are you pronounce this chimney? Chimney? It's chimney." I said, chim "I said chimney." He said, "No, you, you're saying chimney. It's chimney." I said, "That's right, chimney." He said, "What?" I don't understand why you can't pronounce. Why do you, why do you pronounce things differently? I said I don't pronounce things differently. He said, he said I, I give up. I said why? Well, why do you give up? He said well, sometimes you know you talk about stuff, and you know you say oh let's do this boring session and let's just be talking about nothing for an hour but then you start talking about letting go and being relaxed and getting in touch with that sense of the time when maybe you were trying to stay awake but because you were trying to stay awake you you couldn't because you just became more sleepy and you just fell asleep I said yeah he said, then you start talking about flying dogs. I said, oh, no, no, no point did I say a flying dog. I said, you like hand gliding or paw gliding, whatever you, however you want to call it. I didn't say you were flying, you didn't have wings. He said, well, why haven't I got wings? I said, well, that would be silly. He said, yeah, but I can talk. If I can talk, why can't I have wings? If it's all made up anyway. I said, yeah, but it's not really the point, is it? 
you know, I think a talking dog is acceptable on some level and an acrobatic dog wouldn't necessarily fit into that same compartment of silliness. And he said, well, I wasn't talking about acrobatics. Why did you bring acrobatics into it? You know what, I don't like talking about acrobatics. I said, yeah, I know you don't like talking about acrobatics, but I wasn't talking about it. I was just, I just said it as, as, uh, as a thing, as a, an example. He said, when you started then, did you not, you didn't know what to say, did you? I said, what do you mean? He said, you just said as a thing, and then as an example. I said, just saying as an example. It's like you, you couldn't think of a word. I said, I've got plenty of words. They don't always come to me in an instant. He said, why not? Because, um, because, I don't know, just I don't always come, you know. I'm not a robot, I'm a human being. And he said, yeah, that's your answer though, isn't it? And if you get questioned, you bring out the old, I'm not a robot argument. I said, it's not an argument. Not really an argument, you know, it's not, I'm not getting, you know, it's just, it's just more of a, a factual statement. So well, that's better, you know, if that came, that kind of flipped off your tongue quite well, factual statement, it wasn't so much of a, a pause or anything there. And I said, oh, pause, and I laughed, and he laughed because he's a dog and he's got paws. And then they look back at the ducks. He said, you know, I wish I was a duck. I said, why? Why would you want to be a duck? He said, well, I could collect all the breadcrumbs that people give me. And I could set up a sandwich shop somewhere. You know, I could make them into toasted sandwiches or something. And I could sell them to the other ducks. Make a bit of profit. You know, get my... get my foot in the ladder. Or my flippers. Do, do, do. Did they, did they, did ducks have flippers or was it? They got feet, but I don't know if they're. I said oh, I don't know. I don't. I'm not really that bothered. What they call their feet? They're just feet, aren't they? Really? I don't think we need to. Yeah, but yeah, but they're webbed. They're webbed feet. Yeah, they their feet that have webs. But they're not really like spiders' webs, are they? I said, no, if they had spider's webs on their feet, it would dissolve, wouldn't it, in the water? Oh, that's a good point. I never thought about that before. And I said, well, you know what? It's probably something not to really ever think about. It's not, I guess it's not on the top, top of the list of things to give energy to, you know, does a, how come a, a duck's feet aren't webbed with spider's webs? And he said that's a good point. Still like to be a, like to be a spider. I think it would be a spider. Why? Then I could make webs. 
I said, what is this your obsession with webs? He said, I'm not obsessed with it. I just like to read books and watch movies about webs. That's a little bit obsessive. It's not obsessive. No, no worse than you and what you do. I said, I, I don't really do anything. He said, you like doing things? I said, yeah, we, every, everybody, everybody likes doing something. He said, well, why can't I like webs? I had no answer, I was like, I, I don't know. And he said, why did you just say I had no answer, I don't know? Why don't you just talk directly to me? There's nobody else here, unless you're talking to the ducks. I said, no, I didn't talk to a duck, that'd be silly. He said, I didn't say duck, I said ducks. Okay, I wouldn't talk to the ducks. Why not, he said. Because they wouldn't be able to answer back, would they? Why not? Why wouldn't they be able to answer back? Because ducks can't talk. Yeah, but neither can dogs. So why, why do you keep coming back to dogs not being able to talk? You keep coming back, you're going around in circles as if you're trying to find the most tedious things to talk about. And he said to me, yeah, I might be tedious and boring, but I'm not the one that's made 52 hours worth of boring videos in the last three months, 52 hours. And then Andre came along and went over to the corner of the room and uh, he aimed whatever he was doing onto the paper, which was nice. And he ran under the table and he started, he had the biggest yawn. He looked at, looked at me with a cute little face. And he knows I'm he knows I'm talking about him. He always does, he looks at me and keeps looking. And I think he, he doesn't think I can see him, but I can see him just under through the tripod or the the camera stand. And I can see him through the legs of the camera stand. And he's just underneath the table. I can see him. been naughty today. He's now not only getting into one kitchen cupboard, because so I've got this kitchen cupboard, it's, it's on the left hand side of the oven and inside it, or above it, there's a, a drawer, you know, just a standard kitchen drawer, but I just keep bits and bits and bobs in there really, nothing particularly uh, interesting just if I get letters I think I've got some sellotape some batteries uh, what else have I got in there I think there's a notebook in there some what else have I got in there I think there's some pens a couple of lighters just a few bits. I need to go through and kind of uh, sort it out a little bit at some point. But it's getting a bit full at the moment, so I need to sort of press, press the stuff down as I close it. But below that, there's a cupboard, and it's, this is light brown. Um, it's wood, well, yeah it's wood, but it's light brown with, 
I suppose kind of black bits in it maybe it's the grain of the wood or uh, I'm not sure but inside the cupboard so it's got the handles are metal and those handles that, ha that are long all the way down but with two connections that fit to the to the actual door and Andre's just gone into the background he's deciding to make s he, he wants my attention I think oh he's now licking itself Ugh. When I see him lick himself, I get a, a kind of two emotions really. It's kind of a bit of like disgust and a bit of envy. To be that flexible. So, um, so the cupboard, so when you open the cupboard up, there's quite a bit of space at the bottom and then there's another shelf at the top. So, but, so it's, it's a place, really quite a good place to store like cans and things such as that. So that's what I've been doing. I've been storing some cans, tins, and canned goods. And Andre, after three years of living here, suddenly decided to start opening it and going in it and pushing the cans out onto the floor. That's his, it's like a new new hobby so I had to start sellotaping the door up so they couldn't get in and then the last two days yeah, like yesterday I was watching television and I heard this clinkering and clattering and I didn't know what it was and to be fair, I don't really know what clinkering and clattering means, but... I might see if he wants to come on camera. So if anyone is not asleep, they can have a little look at him. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so the, I was watching television yesterday and then I went into the kitchen because there was all this noise. I couldn't kind of figure out what it was because it, it sounded different to the usual sounds that he makes when he's being naughty. And he'd opened the kitchen under the sink. Never done that before. And again, he started pushing stuff out of there. And I don't know why, I went in there and I saw that the kitchen, that the the cupboard was open and I kind of couldn't figure out where he'd gone. I thought he's escaped or he's got out somehow. But he wasn't, he was, I went into my bedroom and he was asleep on my bed. So it's, uh, it's a bit weird really. Somebody's going to have to sellotape that closed 
last week or I think it might be in the weekend I went to the kitchen and the freezer was open and a loaf of bread was that had previously been frozen had started to defrost I was like, how on earth did he open the freezer so he's now getting to a point where he can just do whatever he wants and if he wants to get in somewhere he can which is a little bit worrying because I don't want to be out all day come back and have to eat everything in my freezer because it's defrosted unless it's ice cream maybe I'll move all the ice cream into that freezer I've got two freezers I've got a, on the left to the left of the cupboard you know the cupboard the first cupboard that I talked about it's um, that's to the left of the oven so to the left of that cupboard that's where there's a freezer underneath the kitchen counter and on top of the kitchen counter in, in the corner there there's a fridge which has also got a freezer compartment but that's my fridge so I've also got a I don't know what you call it but it's a, a stand up freezer but the lid's at the top so I don't know what the correct term is for that so that's full of frozen stuff and the other freezer is also full so maybe I should stick lots of uh, I haven't got a lot of ice cream I've got one tub of ice cream oh you know what I got yesterday I bought some cookies but they have to be they're frozen but they have you know need to be cooked in the oven and I'm quite surprised at how excited I'm getting right now I might well it's probably a bit late to be having them now but I might have them tomorrow yeah but stuff like that could be put into the freezer that he opens or that he opened because that way I can it gives me an excuse to just eat lots of sweet stuff and I'll, I'll it'll be a case of I, I have to because the freezer's defrosted all this stuff has to be eaten what else shall I do might even say what else shall I do you know it really depends who I'm talking to and what century they, they were born I can't believe I was born in the last century I'm living in a different century to the one that I was born in wow he's falling asleep I know you can't see his face or you can see the back of his head but he's falling asleep he's completely just falling asleep he gets bored by me as well he does sometimes I'll hold him and I'll just talk to him and I can see his eye is just glazing over it's just like he sighs you just go as if to say oh not again oh he's going to be talking to me for hours will it ever end I might as well just go to sleep maybe he'll put me down and leave me alone quite weird because I got him for company I got him because I wanted to have a you know he's my son so I wanted to have company and someone to love you know but we kind of miss each other sometimes because there's times when 
he wants my attention and he wants to play and he wants me to chase him and all I want to do is whatever I'm doing, and maybe I'm watching telly, maybe I'm, I want to go to bed, maybe I'm on the toilet, who knows. And then other times, he's fast asleep and I want his attention. And I just want to cuddle and I want to play and maybe have a, do something with him. And he just lays there and pushes me away with his paw, with his hand. doing with your mouth a minute ago. I need to keep it away from my mouth a bit. Yes, you do. <laughs> got this tube, this like plastic tube that's it's very similar to a a dryer, you know, like a clothes dryer machine. And that tube that you'd have going from the the dryer to maybe the outside window. It's a bit like that. So it crinkles up and he climbs through it, but it's, it's especially for ferrets. But he loves it, it's one of his favourite places. He plays with it, he goes in and out of it. Sometimes you go to sleep inside it. He just really likes it there. He's got a few things that are just really important to him. He's got, he's got his bag that he likes to sleep in, and he's, he's very uh, protective about. But he's also got a couple of, I think they're probably his children as well, in his mind. He's got a snake, so it's a big pink snake, and it's. We well, looked at me when I said that. probably is twice as long as he is, maybe even longer. And if I touch it, he takes it off me straight away and runs away with it and hides it every time. Doesn't like me touching it at all. And he keeps it in a s different places and now and then I'll see it's moved and move it somewhere and he's been playing with it. Uh, sometimes he tries to move it into his cage a few times he's been trying to do that and it's too big he tries to get it up into his cage so that I guess he can sleep with it or I don't know but he doesn't like me touching it he's had it for probably a couple of years if not longer and it's like his favourite he don't, I hardly ever see him play with it but he's always got him hidden somewhere because he doesn't want me to go near him and or her, I'm not sure it might be a girl and then there's another a couple of other toys that he's got like little like dolls and he he's, he's running all over the place at the moment he's got a couple of dolls that are like they're more dogs toys really, little dogs toys. And again, he hides them. Doesn't want me touching them. And every now and then I buy him a new toy or a new thing and 
quite often he'll just he'll either ignore it or he'll grab it and run off and I don't see it again for months and months I bought him these tennis balls and um, they're on these tiny little tennis balls they're not like big not that tennis balls are big although you struggle to fit one in your mouth I imagine not that I've tried it's not the right material it's just a bit too itchy but it's it's too big for him really in the sense of he wouldn't be able to bite it but he'd probably enjoy playing with it but I got him these little balls for him and he didn't touch them and I thought oh it's a waste of time but then I thought where, where are they and they were hidden he took it and I found them uh, a few months later completely it destroyed him he'd been playing with them biting them and everything and since then I've, I've caught him doing it and see he does play with them it just he seems to do it when I'm not around sometimes I think I should leave the camera on when I'm not here just to film him to see what he gets up to so right now he's climbed into his next bag so it's a carrier bag from next at the shop so I've had that carrier bag for It's got to be over a year he's had that bag. It smells really bad. I remember getting that because I got these trousers, not these trousers, but a pair of trousers uh, because I was helping a friend out in London and he wanted me to just go and uh, help him with the comedy club. I wasn't getting paid or anything, we were just helping him uh, on a Saturday night. I only did it a couple of times. But I got some new trousers because I didn't have any clothes to wear. So I travelled up. But, so I got them on the Friday. That's where I got the bag from. So I got these trousers. And I remember when I went to buy, I went to pay for them. And the lady, the other on the counter, was she had like red hair, ginger hair, she was really nice and she she asked me what, what am I doing now then? She said well, what are you doing now? And I said oh, I'm going to Iceland to buy some tea cakes and some cans of coke and probably some milk. And then I said goodbye and left and I thought you know what if she was asking what am I doing now because she was perhaps wanting to get to know me or you know it's a possibility there might be someone out there that that wants to do that and I wasn't telling about Iceland going shopping because I thought that would impress her because um, I assumed that a lot of people go shopping for food I was just being honest. That's what she asked. What are you doing now? I didn't, you know, I wouldn't go too deep. I was like, well, actually, I'm, I'm holding a poo in, and I'm waiting for you to stop talking so I can go to the public toilets, and relieve myself. It's very uncomfortable right now. Trying all those trousers on, especially the ones that were too tight, hasn't been easy. didn't want to be that honest but the other stuff about going to Iceland that was true so I don't know what Andre is doing he's just around so I've got yeah what did I do so I've got my Jason Chats vlog that's up and running now and uh, 
Este... I'll be making the odd video and stuff, I suppose. But I'm hoping the microphone's fairly good on this because, as I said at the beginning, I, I bought a new microphone specifically for doing these, you know, for on uh, these videos using the iPhone. But I'm also going to be starting, maybe not tonight, but probably tomorrow morning when I get up, I'm going to start making some recordings, just audio, without any video. Uh, sort of maybe some relaxation, some whisper stuff, ASMR. Um, and then just try and figure out maybe some kind of video to to add on top so you know add the to do an edit you know to edit the the audio with some kind of image or a video and then you know turn that into an actual video which I can upload to YouTube as well as uploading it as an mp3 on SoundCloud and Spreaker and and then making the video and the mp3 available to stream or watch on the website and to also download for free so if you are still watching then um, maybe check out my website if you're watching live just see if it's working on there jasonnewland.com just click the play button. It should be the first, should be a, a video at the top of the page. And to see if it's playing live, if you can watch it, stream it live. Because if that is the case, then I might start doing more of these, but actually promote them on the website. Or, you know, tell people just go to the website and they'll be able to watch it there which is quite a cool thing and possibly maybe do something where it streams continuously different videos I might look into that a possibility of maybe or perhaps making a video which is I could maybe make edit a video which just moves from one to the other and just have that playing you know for 10 hours or 20 hours or something like that 48 hours just have a continuous so if anyone goes onto the website they can just press play and have uh, me just talking for you know, continuously for hours and hours and hours and hours. So that might be quite a a thing to do. I just just thought of that just now. There used to be a thing online years ago, and so I I, was, I used to kind of embrace anything that came along that was new, anything that I could sort of help promote what I did. And this thing is, I uploaded lots of videos, and it did, it streamed my videos continuously, 24 hours a day. And getting thousands of views, because just people were just watching it, and it was just continuous. So everyone had their own page, and so if it was, someone had videos about cooking, or videos like gaming videos and they just stream their videos you know the collection one after another and then loop the game and start the game and that's uh, I can't remember what the what the channel what the website was called I don't think it's around anymore but 
quite like that. So maybe I might look into have something like that on my website. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, another thing, I've got, uh, I do have a Vimeo channel where all my videos are on there. Everything's set to private, so. I'm planning, planning to embed the videos from Vimeo onto my website instead of the YouTube videos. It just safeguards the website, it means I won't have to make any changes at all, you know, if I delete a video or for whatever, anything happens, because the huge the Vimeo you channel will always be there. So I've, uh, I've had that channel for quite a while, and all the old videos were still on there from so I, I paid for a year in the end of October last year. I paid for a year for like a huge like storage. So all the storage is still there, it's still mine. But I now get five gigabytes a week, which is uh, quite cool. So that's kind of bringing us to the end of this on that Vimeo so I'll be embedding the Vimeo videos into the website it just means that everything's self-sufficient and uh, safe on that website as it grows I've been working a lot on the website the last few days, trying to make it a bit easier to navigate and to find what it is that you're looking for. So we're 62 minutes in or something like that. So it brings us to the end of this thing. This let me bore you to sleep. Andre's in the background having a little munch. So thank you for listening. Thank you for those that watched live. And thank you for those that watch after it's live. Because that's why I'm doing this. So for those of you that like what I do. So take care of yourselves. And I will see you or speak to you next time. As I said earlier, I will be making some audios without video. And I'm not sure, I might turn them into videos. Yeah, I guess I will, so they'll be uploaded as videos anyway. They just won't be me on the screen, if that makes sense. Unless I made a video of me just doing a little dance. and just repeating it for however long the video lasts. That might be a bit unusual though. So that's the end of this session. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching. Remember the podcast, this audio will be available on SoundCloud, Spreaker, uh, you got might be available on Spotify even you can download it for free as an mp3 or as a video on my website you can stream or watch the video on my website and of course it's available on YouTube so that's everything please like if you like please subscribe if you if you want to Take care, lots of love.